Bearer receptors are some of the most important receptors that we have in our body. They detect the pressure of the blood that's going through the arteries, and particularly the ones that go through the carotid arteries in the neck. And the reason they're so important is because they're what allows us to be able to move, to be able to stand up. Because as we change pressure from sitting down or laying down or turning your head, we have to be able to very quickly be able to get blood in your head. One of the things that can happen though is we get baroreflex failure. And that failure can occur whether it's in the receptor itself, in the baroreceptor, or in the nerve that transmits that to the brain, or in the area of the brain that processes that signal, or in the output where we actually create the changes that would happen with your heart rate or with your blood pressure. So you need that whole loop to be intact in order for that system to work. And what we find is that people that have brain injury, concussion, or in people that have uh, infections that affect the peripheral nerves or that can infect the, the baroreceptor itself, that that reflex gets stunted or it gets interfered with. And then we see that it's not as sensitive as it should be. So when it's not as sensitive as it should be, then we start to get fluctuations that happen with pressure. Anytime we create movement, there can be a latency or there can be an inaccurate response with the baroreceptor. These are crazy important and unfortunately, they don't get diagnosed that frequently, but it's really important that you check it just kind of across the board, all the autonomic cases that you see where you're affecting uh, blood pressure responses.